Hey guys, I'm Chris. I'm David. And today we're going to give you the real deal on Get Out. Get Out. Get Out. So Get Out was written and directed by Jordan Peele, who we all know from K and Peele, uh, his Comedy Central show, as well as his early works on Mad TV. And it's kind of weird to see him kind of working on his own without his partner in crime, Keegan-Michael Key. Uh, Get Out is a horror movie that was given us earlier in 2017, starring Daniel Kaluuya, who is this uh, British guy from, that all I know him from is Black Mirror, oh, yeah. the episode A Million Merits, which he was incredible in. Amazing. Uh, we also have uh, Catherine Keener from 40 Year Old Virgin and Bradley Whitford from, we all know him from West Wing or uh, The Awesome Cabin in the Woods. Yep. So the basic premise of the movie is Daniel Kaluuya, I cannot say his name correctly, I apologize, is dating a white girl and they're going to a weekend get together with her parents and he feels uncomfortable about the fact that they're in an interracial relationship and his, her parents are not exactly uh, in the know about that. So he feels like that could lead to some problems. Um, as when they get there though, they seem to be cool at first, but he can tell uh, something's a little off about the whole situation. Right. And the audience can sort of feel the tension too, that something's not quite right there. Like they're almost too comfortable with uh, the two of them dating. And the movie really plays to the whole racial tension thing that can really lead to some good like psychological discomfort you know you know something's wrong but you don't know quite what it is yeah. and that's really the biggest strength i can find in this movie for sure is the fact that it really plays on these like uh these tropes of like not just like horror movies but like the racial tension that you know we sort of feel in our society today it's very right. much one of those kind of movies that reflects on you know society and how things are these days so Get Out is Jordan Peele's first directorial effort, mm -hmm. as well as his first writing credit as well. And mm -hmm. in both aspects, he actually is extremely competent. Uh, I'm surprised to see that not only does he do a very adequate job of really framing everything, keeping everything well lit and just well in frame, straight down the center, looking very crisp and very clean, um, but he also keeps everything very tense and taut throughout with some really well-crafted dialogue. Uh, all the characters, they, they all feel very real realistic and very well portrayed. They all have their own nuances, uh, their own scopes, angles, uh, and, and that's very, very uh, important in movies like this, especially in horror movies, which are very bogged down by two-dimensional characters just getting cut off, cut off, cut off, back to back to back. It, you really start to feel like there's no depth to any of these characters when, when they're just immediately murdered. There's no weight to any of their deaths. Um, where here, I feel like everyone really has their own angle, at least in the in the core group. And when things start to get really, really hardcore, shit's really hitting the fan. Um, you start to really feel the heartstrings really getting plucked at. Uh, he's he's very competent in all aspects. I was very impressed with the way that he pulled everything off here. I feel like the highest uh, compliment I can give Jordan Peele is the fact that this movie was just overall just solid throughout. Like I had no complaints about the direct the direction it went. I wouldn't say, there were some parts that maybe stood out to me as like kind of unique and uh, special or I guess or unique to him, yeah. but overall this is the fact that the movie was so well-rounded and f devoid of really any noticeable flaws is, especially for his first time making movie, is just, this could be a movie from like a seasoned director, you know, but the fact that he just was given like a budget under five million and was told, hey, just make this, you know, crazy movie, uh, an original movie. And he was able to just do it so competently is, is incredible. And the fact that it's not really a body count horror movie, it's more psychological horror. Right. And the fact that he was able to blend comedy with the like, psychological tension of the situation, uh, it reminded me a lot of how Sam Raimi was able to do something similar with body horror and comedy with his Evil Dead series totally back agree, in the yeah. day. And the fact that they just kind of mesh so well together. One minute you'll be on the edge of your seat going, oh shit, what's going to happen now? Like, you don't know what's going to happen. And the next thing you're laughing your ass off. Uh, mainly due to the actor uh, Lyrell Howery, I think you say his name. Yeah. He's like a big black dude. That dude was straight up comic relief. Wonderful. He was comedic gold in this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every frame of that guy was, I was busting up laughing. The shit he says... Like, he was like almost like an audience member watching horror movies, just calling shit out, you know, as shit was getting weird, he's like calling it out, calling it out, and I was dying. Like, yeah, oh my God. horror movies really need a character like that to keep the movie grounded, yeah. and you can really tell with Peele's uh, directorial work here, writing, 
you know, he really knows how to do everything, especially going way back to his comedy work with his show. Um, it, it really hits all the marks when it comes to the, just the more hilarious aspects. Uh, but it, it really does tonally flip-flop very remarkably as well. Um, like Chris was saying earlier, it, it does really feel uh, well-balanced in the two aspects and the way that it transitions back and forth. Uh, it, it keeps you off-kilter, but intentionally so, and I like that. I like a movie that can keep me on my toes and uh, really keep me off-balance. Yeah, the fact that you're laughing one second and sort of scared the next, it really uh, keeps, you, yeah, it keeps you on your toes, and that makes the tension more like tense, you know, because it's throwing you for a loop constantly. You don't know how to feel at all times. Yeah. It's not stretching out a certain mood for too long of a period. It's not letting you get comfortable. It's just kind of always, you know, going back and forth. Exactly. Absolutely. And that's what makes the movie so entertaining, I feel like. Uh, it's not just one specific direction. It really knows how to keep you entertained all the way throughout with a lot of really innovative and fresh ideas that I feel like I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, recently in the horror market. I was just talking to Chris about it earlier. I feel like I haven't seen a horror movie this good since maybe The Conjuring, though it is very different from that film. One of the smaller aspects that I did want to touch upon a little bit uh, was the... Soundtrack for the film, uh, which was composed by Michael Abels. Uh, he hasn't done a whole lot. This is actually one of the only films I could find for his discography. Um, but I feel like he did a very thorough and comprehensive job with the soundtrack here. Uh, really switching between these two genres, the, the comedy elements and the horror elements. Uh, it, it is very minimalistic, very subtle, uh, but it does do a really good job of, of really enhancing some of these key moments throughout the film. Um, yeah, just wanted to kind of get that in there. Give a little shout out right. to a newcomer in the business. Oh, yeah. Right. So, David, what are your final thoughts on Get Out? Well, I, I thought that it was a, a really original idea, mm -hmm. uh, something really surprising from a director and writer that I had completely blown off from the get-go. Um, I'm not going to deny that I had full expectations that this would be hot garbage, uh, but... I, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'd say that it's one of the best horror movies that I've seen in quite some time with a really innovative, uh, interesting idea that is self-aware enough to, to give it a real sense of intelligence about it. Um, I think, personally, I'd, I'd give it an A. I'd agree with that. This is definitely an A movie for me, too. It's a really good social commentary, a nice blend of horror and comedy, and something that, I mean, I remember seeing the trailers for this movie, and it was not what I was expecting. Trailers sort of play it off as a typical horror movie that might get a little, you know, just body counts, blood, guts everywhere, and it's really not that at all. In fact, there's really not much blood until the third act, and even then, they kind of pull back a bit on some of the gorier elements. Like, they could yeah. really push the gore, but they decided, you know, smartly to kind of give us just enough blood it's to restrained. make the point. It's very restrained. Uh, but like I said, you know, it's smart, funny, original as hell. It threw me for a loop, and I was nothing but entertained and really have no problems with the movie besides maybe wanting just a little more closure at the end. But that's really a nitpick more than anything. So see this movie. Yep. See it. Absolutely. Yep. Definitely check it out. So as always, I'm David. I'm Chris. Get out of here! Get out! Get out of here! What are you doing here?